Moto have been doing really good job in budget and mid-range segment. They have started really good trends like offering Dolby Atmos and stereo speakers in most of their devices. And with this Moto G54, they have started offering OIS under 15,000, which is actually quite surprising. So in this video, let's check on the OIS of this device. We'll see that whether it works or not and whether it makes any difference. Okay, and to get a better idea, let's compare the OIS of this Moto G54 with this H40 Neo. Okay, and we'll see that how good the OS of this Moto G54. Obviously, it is not fair because it is going to cost you around 25,000 and this is going to cost you just 13, 14,000. But still, let's see that uh, if there is any significant difference or not. Okay, so let's go outside. So let's start with 60 FPS video. Uh, 1080p because this Moto G54 can record up to only 1080p 60 FPS. It can't record 4K, so we'll be comparing 60 FPS 1080p videos, and we'll start with by turning off the stabilization on both. So I have actually turned off the stabilization on both. Okay, so you can see that apparently we can see that uh, the OS on this, uh, you know. Edge 4 Neo is looking better here. Yeah? So let's walk faster to see that uh, when we are moving how it works. So you can see that it is actually doing a good job. Even the dynamic range on this, uh, yes, the Edge 4 Neo is actually better. You can see that. Okay. And uh, first of all, let's check the autofocus. So we we'll know this is G54. Yeah, the autofocus is not bad. Yeah, but it is not that sharp. Okay. Now this is the Hatch 40 Neo. Here you can see that it is actually doing a better job. Yeah, it is actually doing good. Yeah. So yes, you can see that the quick movements, they are looking, I would say, a bit smooth, smoother, I would say, on this um, Edge 40 Neo compared to the 54 yeah. So let's walk faster again. So I must say that the stabilization is working better on this uh, Edge 40 Neo compared to G54. But still, you're getting this option, this uh, OS, uh, you know, under 14, 15,000, which is actually good. Yeah. So you can see that it is actually good. Now, let's compare by turning on the stabilization mode, okay, on both. So now I have turned on the stabilization mode on both. You can see that it crops the video a bit on both. Yeah. So, and I found that... Uh, the G54 is not that seamless when you are moving, you know, the ships are not that seamless, okay, but it's not bad as well. So let's walk faster to check the stabilization. You can see that uh, H4 Tenu is actually doing a good job here, okay. So let's check the autofocus again. And as I told you, the dynamic range is better on this Edge 40 Neo, okay. And as I told you again, you can see that the ships are not that seamless, um, you know, on this Moto G54. So let's walk to these flowers and let's check the focus. This is G54. Now I can say that it is not that sharp, you know, the focus, autofocus is not that sharp. Now this is Neo. And you can see that it is actually doing a better job. Yeah. Good. Okay, in the dynamic range, you can see. And let's walk faster again. So you can see that uh, Edge 40 Neo is actually doing better uh, when it comes to stabilization. You know, stabilization. It is actually good. You can see that it is actually doing a good job. But still, I would say that G54 has this feature, so which is actually good.
So what do you think about it? Let me in the comments. And if you end up liking my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Cheers, guys.